I thank you for coming over. And my name is Tanetta Tony Overy with Horizon. And I'm with Product Development and Innovation. And I'd like to show you one of our new products, which is Intelligent Lighting, part of our Smart City Suite for Verizon. To give you a demo, I'd like to start here. Recording of this area is now in process. Emergency personnel are being contacted. That's our push blue system, one quarter of the cost of what you pay um, currently at university campuses. The main thing that about intelligent lighting is that it's a connected solution. LED and luminaires are very efficient for cities. The major line item cost in the United States cities has been the cost of energy usage. Putting in connected LEDs bring that cost down by 70% savings. So if you want to round that off, a million dollars is like 300,000 in savings annually. But having a connected solution now lets you have a network grid to put in smart services, such as, for example, you hear music being piped through, that's our bi-directional audio. And with bi-directional audio, if I was to push the campus police, we have integrated cameras, 180 on each side for 360 degrees, and you only need three of the, per block on a city street. That captures that offender and you have exactly the geolocation on our iPad. So if you look on our iPad, that allows the police to work smarter and not harder. Integrated as well if you want the digital signage. Now that we're saving money, we also have the opportunities to not only give direction, water over the road, change traffic pattern, but also running ads through it becomes non-tax-based ad revenue. Even the music is non-tax-based ad revenue through sponsorship. And also the polls you can put in small cell technology that allows for densification of a network. And to give you background on that is if you have a huge city event, should anything occur, everyone wants to use a, a cell phone. But if you can't get out, then you have a problem. So densification and network allows any event that everyone can still get out. And you only need one per half, uh, half a mile or two per gateway. These are on a 20 to 1 gateway mesh network over our Verizon Secure 4G LTE. And it goes into our Verizon Secure Connect cloud. And in that platform, You'll be able to see through our pad here, and I'll give you an example. We can do all the controls oops, on the fly. For example, if you take a look here, you see by district and you see by poll. You can have reports. You can actually go in, like you're hearing the music now. We can do scheduling when the music comes in, or you can have scheduling where an alert says 4 o'clock at exactly 4 o'clock, the zoo will be closing in 30 minutes. Or if there's a missing child or someone found a purse, we can actually use a mobile phone and call into the system. And when you call into the system, within 30 minutes, it'll say, anyone come to the office if you're missing an event or if you're missing this particular item. Sorry about that. So it's really unique where this is this particular actual poll. So when you use data, not only can we do the energy reports, if you want to integrate APIs where we're putting in historical data of crime or offenders on that block where the police wants that information, or you want to do trending analysis so you can do what if scenarios, the real play is that now you've got a network grid of an entire city where you can do more with particularly less and you can do it by district or by poll so if someone says for example that light is really too bright right so take a look at what I'm going to do now that light right here if someone said I cut down my tree and that light is too high because maybe it's like that see how bright that is I can actually bring that light down on the fly. Even the audio. The audio we used to have in business districts, when we play that music, it's on a track. And you just drag and drop that particular music. But even still, it's on a preset very low. Look at that. Oh my God. That was a little bit too high. But I just wanted to show the capabilities. And this is, once you have this infrastructure in place, not only are you able to then say, I also have by the district or by the poll, that now in the future, we can do vehicle to infrastructure. So see by district, 
You can have your business district, your home district, your whatever district, or by the poll. But you have a network of a smart city, and this is your network infrastructure to build a smart city and to go into future smart city services and vehicles of infrastructure prior to V2V. So I hope you liked it.